Hi folks, I'm Rob. And I'm Nathan. And we are Two, Two Guys, guys in a Ride. Ride. Today we're going to take a look at this beautiful 2019 GMC Sierra Denali trim. This baby has all the bells and whistles. And if you're new to our channel, take a minute to click on the red subscribe button at the bottom and hit that bell up at the top so you'll get notifications every time we have new content. So what do you say, Nathan? How about let's take a ride? Let's take a ride. Today with, with our friends at Snell Motors, Buick GMC Cadillac dealer in beautiful Mankato, Minnesota. Now there are several versions of this vehicle. You can really customize it out to almost anything you want. There is the Sierra 1500 starting at 29,000. The SLT starting at 42,825. And the Denali starting at 52,900. Now the next generation Sierra, which is this vehicle here, uh, the 1500 starts at 33,500, the SLT 44,300. There is a new super off-road uh, trim package called the AT4, and that vehicle starts at 50,800, and then this vehicle, the Denali, starts at 54,700. This vehicle has an 8. 0.9 inch ground clearance has 147.3 inch wheelbase as you see it here with a crew cab you do have led headlights led turn signals led led fog lights and of course the led signature lights as well i love the absolute beautiful bling of all the chrome on the front end and exclusive to the denali version are the chrome um, tow hooks. The Sierra is available with anywhere from 17 inch to 22 inch wheel and tire package. This being the top line Denali trim, this has 22 inch. Absolutely beautiful. With the touch of a button on the inside, you can turn these work lights on so you've got a little light to project out uh, to a job site, and these are actually LED as you can see inside there. This particular model is the 6.2 liter v8 and it is capable of 420 horsepower also available on this vehicle is a three liter uh, inline six diesel uh, turbo diesel duramax engine or the 5.3 liter ecotech v8 with 355 horsepower 383 pound foot of torque and as i said a minute ago this is a 6.2 ecotech v8 420 horsepower 460 pound-foot of torque and you either get an 8 or a 10 speed automatic transmission and towing capacity up to 9600 pounds uh, these engines also feature auto start stop uh, and the gasoline engines will get anywhere from uh, 17 city to 23 highway okay this is another feature of the uh, Denali You've got the power running boards that deploy when you open the doors, but the really cool feature is with either a tap on the back side of this running board or a button on the dashboard, you can make these running boards shift from the front to the back to where then you're able to stand up on them to reach into the bed and retrieve something. To simply take them back, there's a button on the end you can tap with your finger or tap with your foot and that will retract now as you may be able to see they've actually made these corner steps a little larger they're a little larger and deeper for different size work boots but what i really want to show you on this vehicle is the multi pro tailgate now first thing you want to do if you use the multi pro tailgate uh, for all of its different functions that i'll show you make sure your um, trailer hitch uh, extender and ball has been removed there are two buttons up here. Simply push the top button and the middle part will open up. You're not opening up the whole tailgate. The cool part about this, you can then just push a little button here and it will pop up. So you've got second 
tier load stop or because you've got a power outlet in the bed with as well as leds and a spray in bed liner you can actually use this as a surface set your laptop up here set your coffee roll out your blueprints whatever you need to do it's a great work surface set that back up let me push the bottom button your regular tailgate soft lowers then you can reach under push your top button the middle part folds out but the really cool part is right here it then drops down to a step then you can reach in grab your handle I have to roll this uh, this isn't a, uh, a GMC accessory uh, bed liner or bed cover but what you can do is then reach in grab your handle and you can actually pull this out to where it'll extend out a little further for you but then there you go there's your step up easy step down another cool feature you're hanging out at the game or you're hanging out at the race there you go now you've got a tailgate spot as well got your cooler set right inside you've got room for two or three more people then there also is an after uh, an add-on an accessory from GMC uh, it's a kicker audio system that you can get mounted right into the center part here so you can Bluetooth your tunes right out uh, through those speakers as you're um, as you're tailgating or just hanging out with friends. So, put this back together, fold that up, bring this up, and there you go. Your tailgate's all back together. That's the brand new Multi Pro tailgate on the GMC Denali. Fantastic idea. Absolutely love it. Okay, I want to drop the tailgate again. I want to show you the bed. One thing I didn't show you on the Multi Pro, as it sits right there, you can also flip up this piece as a load stop for the first level. So keep uh, two by fours, uh, sheet of plywood, you name it from rolling out. And then that just fits right back in there. So this does have the uh, spray on bed lighter like I wanted to talk to you about. Also, uh, the floor length is 69.92 inches. The cargo box width between the wheel housings is 50.63 inches and then the cargo bed height is 22.4 inches so this has the most cargo volume capacity of any truck that's out there right now i can show you the dual exhaust on this vehicle you can see the backup sensors and now this does have a backup camera multi-view backup camera and it does have the trailering camera as well and of course this does have the trailering package that includes the uh, four seven uh, pin connectors the trailer hitch auto locking rear diff and hitch guidance led tail lights okay i love the detail right here this little cut around the cladding it could have just been a solid black piece but no they took it one step better uh, and made it a nice looking uh, cut detail and another thing that uh other manufacturers don't have i'll try to get in here and hopefully we can see it okay here we are the inner rear inner uh wheel well is lined with a felt um liner so as you're traveling down a gravel road or you're slinging up uh, rocks from the highway or snow or anything like that that's a loose surface where it would go in there and just hit and clang 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 on a metal uh inner liner or no liner uh, this actually gives you a felt wheel well liner to help quieten down the ride and you're not slinging all those rocks and chipping your paint as well. Got GMC stamped into the plastic bed cap and as I was saying before this is a uh, tonneau cover that is a GMC accessory. You see that there is the um, power sliding mirror. I like the integrated spoiler on the top and then you see in the middle there in the, in the high mount uh, third stoplight is a camera that camera is for your digital rear view mirror camera on the inside of the vehicle so if you've got passengers or you've got cargo or something inside or even a large like a refrigerator or a washing machine something you've picked up at the uh, at the home improvement store on the weekend uh, your, your uh, rear view camera isn't blocked and Nathan will tell you a little bit about that uh, on the inside view but that's an absolutely fantastic feature and I love, absolutely love that camera. 
and we can see the running boards. The vehicle is all closed up. Nathan's inside doing the interior review and the vehicle's running, but you can see the running boards are not deployed and that's exactly how they're supposed to be right now. So to get in and out of the vehicle and to lock it, it's pretty easy. You can do it with the actual key fob, the lock and unlock, or have the key fob on your body and it's pretty easy. You see the sensors here. You go up to the vehicle and you just push the button to lock or unlock it. There is no sensor on the inside, so that's just simply just push the button to lock or unlock. I like the chrome trim. You can see, again, that fantastic uh, upgraded package. And this is that name, that Denali name that denotes it's a heavy duty GMC vehicle. Just absolutely gorgeous. Cool thing, all right, you're gonna see this later because that's one of the attention to detail things that I like. If you can see the word Sierra written into the side of the LED lights. I didn't notice earlier until I got outside in the sunlight, and this is one of the few videos we've actually had a chance to film in the sunlight, but there is this gorgeous cut line right through here that comes down, swoops, and then goes right across down by the bottom. Looks like Nathan's got his door open a little bit there, so don't comment to me that uh, it's a bad build quality. That's actually his door is ajar a little bit. And this does have the capless fuel filter. I do like the um, heavy duty paint that they've put right here. You can see it's really orange peel, but that's for a uh, the rock uh, kick up to keep it from really uh, damaging your paint. So that's a fantastic idea. Fantastic vehicle. I'll show you under the hood now. Okay, here's that big 6.2 liter gasoline V8. And again, this baby puts out 420 horsepower, 460 pound-feet of torque. And you hear it, it's running right now, and it's really quiet. Boy, that's quiet. But that's a brute that's waiting, that's waiting to pounce. So that's it folks, that's the overview of the outside of the vehicle. Hey Nathan, it's your turn now and I really am jealous because this thing is beautiful and it's loaded. I know you're gonna show the folks all the technology inside. So take it away, buddy. It is loaded, come on in, let's take a look. And here we are on the inside of the 2019 GMC Sierra Denali version with the crew cap. Hey, take kind of just a quick tour of the features you do have some nice storage. I like the the open pore ash wood with the uh, real aluminum trim. That looks very nice. You do have ten way power seats that includes two way uh, two position lumbar on both sides. Both front and passenger seats are heated and ventilated. I like the Denali logo in there. You do have a moonroof. You know, over here you have your four-wheel drive controls and your lighting controls, your heads-up display controls, a nice dashboard with a high-definition driver's information system, and heads-up display coming out of here. Beautiful 8-inch infotainment center. You have your physical controls for the infotainment center, and you have your climate control system that has all the physical buttons that you would need as well as you can control it by the touch screen. Down here you've got your dual uh, two USB ports. One is a, a standard USB, one is a USB-C, so it's a little smaller, a little newer version. You have a 12 volt outlet, and then over here you have a three pronged power outlet. That is the power button to turn that on and off. Hey, right, you've got some very nice storage down here. This is also a wireless phone charger, which is, I, I've always said that's one of my favorite features on vehicles, that, on newer vehicles. Hey, you got some, they got dual cup holders down here, you got some nice storage. And then if I come around a little bit, you got a non-slip surface right here um, for storing your uh, phone. And then if you just reach down here and you just, it's a button you just push in. And you have a cavern <laughs> you have a cavernous opening. You do have a uh, USB-C and a standard USB, as well as an SD card input and a 3.5 millimeter input jack for the to plug in and something for the infotainment system. So over here we have dual glove boxes. 
The top one opens straight up and is a little bit smaller, but will hold. It's, it's you know it's it's deep. You can see where my fingers are. Okay, so you know about that deep. You can store all sorts of nice small stuff. It's just nice to have that extra storage. And then down here you have a large full-sized glove box. You do have a, some, some nice side pocket storage on both sides. And then you have your trailer braking controls down here. Okay, moving on, let's talk about the specifics of the uh, infotainment system. So this is a Bose sound system. It's very nice sounding. Um, and it does come with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. It also comes equipped with a backup camera that has 11 different settings. You can see them displayed below. Each of the buttons has two different options. Over here, for the visors, we do have LED mirrors on both sides, and they are large mirrors. They are also both telescoping. Moving up here, I do want to point out we have a really awesome digital mirror. So right now it's just a regular rear view mirror, but if I flick the uh, day-night switch, it becomes digital. Up here you have your typical controls in the ceiling for your home link and your moon roof. And then this one is for your rear sliding window, which is powered. And you see it move and move back. All right, so here we are in the back of the 2019 GMC Denali Crew Cab. It's a nice open pore ash trim with the wood here, along with the real aluminum trim that outlines it. Deep pocket holders here. You got seat pockets back here, both sides. The back does have heated outboard seats. So that would be the left passenger and the right passenger, and they are three-stage heating. Your vent controls, you have a, a standard USB and a USB-C plug-in. And then in addition to that, you've got a 12-volt outlet. One of the nice things about the 2019 GMC Sierra Denali version is if you lift up the seats here, you've got storage under here. So you've actually built a ridge on this one where you know you can store things. And that seat comes up the same way. And then again, it's just it's just a pull up and then it's just a pull down. You also have what I call seat back storage. So good for, you know, maybe a small umbrella, um, electronic devices, power cords, that kind of thing. Okay. And I should mention that the, the, the 2019 has a larger rear door opening. So you have, it's easier to access and you have more leg room. So sitting up here in the back of the Denali, um, I have got about a mile of headroom because uh, GMC, like other pickups, has, has chosen to recess this back part, which is awesome because it's so much more headroom. And if I have a mile of headroom, I have two miles of knee room. I have room for a small nation to occupy this area. And the last thing, of course, is just the armrest. If you pull that down, you got some cup holders along with a little bit of storage and, of course, a nice armrest. Okay, off on our ride in the Sierra Denali. 2019 Crew Cab Edition. Oh boy, this heads up display is awesome. I've never had a car with that, so. Uh, it, it, is, it is, I can't wait to sit in the driver's seat. I can't wait to drive wow, and try it. I've, wow. I've already showed it to you on the video, but. And it just kind of floats there in space. Well, you know, this is it's very spacious. I, uh, tons of headroom, tons of leg room. I can cross my legs and I, I don't even get close to touching the dashboard. But you know, as big as it is, I, it, I, I like the rounded uh, hood because it, you, you've got- The lines drop of, off on the edges. Yeah, you've got great field of vision. Mm -hmm. Oh. That's a lot of weight you're moving too. Well, if you'd get out. <laughs> I walked into that one. Zero to 60 time is greatly, Which, <laughs> greatly yeah. improve if Nathan's if I would not just in the get car. Out. <laughs> Boy, it's comfortable too. You know, it's unloaded. A lot of trucks, uh, when they're unloaded, uh, you're not hauling anything or right, towing anything. Another weight in the back. They have that bouncy feeling. Yeah. But no, we're hitting rub strips in the highway and... It's very dampened. 
It is. Now, the other thing that this has on it is uh, new in 2019 is new sound dampening technology. The doors are triple sealed. Okay. Uh, there's new technology for insulation underneath the dashboard. I, yeah, I love this. Uh, what is it? The camera is the rear view mirror? Yeah, it's got the digital rear view mirror, oh, and that is actually set to that, on at this point. That, yeah, I turned it on a minute ago. You had it on regular, and it's like, no, yep. no, no, I like this. Feel. This has the sign recognition, and it has the, I see you've got, we've got the lane keeping assist is on. Yes. Okay. I did not set the speed limit alarm this time. Okay. I thought about it. I was going to set it to 54. Heated steering wheel. I Heated like that. Heated steering wheel. I like that. Even Auto though adaptive it's. Adaptive uh, cruise control. Through your touchscreen. Again, what I like is this truck doesn't drive like a big truck, but this is a huge four-door truck. Yeah, it's a big, it, it, big it doesn't truck. handle, and it doesn't feel like it as you're going down the road. I feel like I'm in a smaller vehicle or even a mid-sized SUV, and oh, I don't want to give it up. I, no, this is my drive. Two well, guys in my drive this time because I, I have. I, oh my! I did gosh. hijack the the uh, one of our cars. One of the uh, other cars, but I may yeah, hijack so this could, one too. I can't blame Rob. <laughs> oh man, this is just amazing! Isn't it? Holy cow, this is a beautiful. All right, still there. we're gonna get out and swap, and I guess right. I will let Nathan drive. It, it is an oh. Oh, that heads-up display is nice. But armor, right? But the, the cool thing about this this heads-up display is just, I mean, like, again, it sits out at the end of your hood. Mm -hmm. It doesn't distract you. You can look at the road, and I can, I can stare at the car ahead of me, and I can tell I am going 55 miles an hour. I don't actually have to look at the at the HF. I mean, well, that's what I was directly kind of wondering at a few minutes ago. I didn't look at down below at the instrument panel hardly at all, and you know, what's it going to come to? Are all the cars eventually going to go to the head-up display? I don't know, but this is sure nice. I mean, I'd, I'd love to have something like this on a, on a vehicle. It drives really nice. It's 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 easy to drive. It's easy to handle. Um, there's a lot of horsepower under here. Yeah. at 60. But with all the luxury inside, all the technology inside, and then the know that you can go to the home supply store on the weekends and pick up anything you want or tow up to 9,600 pounds. Yeah, this thing even has selections for, like, when you select, you customize your, your setup for your trailer. Uh -huh. I mean, it'll take a fifth wheel, a standard trailer, or a gooseneck. I mean, there's all presets that you can then start with. And I Overall, I really like this truck. It's easy to drive. It's roomy. Yet the lines are sculpted in the front, so your view outside is good. Um, and you sit up high. You've got a nice way up high. Beauty. We're higher oh, than uh, oh, the road. I'm following a Tahoe, and I'm I'm uh, I'm sitting up higher than. I there. think so too. To yeah. So I already know what my favorite thing is, and you can't pick it. Well, yours is usually technology, so yeah. I probably won't pick it. Mine's right. going to be a detail on the outside or inside of the vehicle. All right. Well, that's the end of our ride, folks, in the 2019 GMC Sierra Denali Edition. And uh, as always, like us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram, Twitter. We also have a website now. And definitely subscribe. Click that button down in the bottom corner, that, that bright red button that says subscribe. And uh, hit that bell up at the top corner so you'll get notifications every time we post a new video, uh, which is at least once. All right, so my favorite thing, Rob, is the heads-up display by far. So my favorite thing, attention to detail, and I love this. Sierra.